Hi, Andreas here. I just built an AI PC using 44-year-old original IBM and Intel hardware. Check this out. August 12, 1981, IBM launched their personal computer, the IBM PC 5150. Intel 8088 processor running at 4.77 MHz. No hard drive, just floppy disks. A monochrome display showing green text on black background. 16K of RAM expandable to a massive 640K. IBM put a lot of what it knows about computers into the new IBM personal computer. Not to make it complicated, but to make it simple. This machine didn't just start the personal computer revolution, it defined what a PC could be. And this is an original 1981 build. With this original hardware, I've done something that seemed impossible back then. I turned it into an AI computer. My father, Nils Sjöström, made what seemed like an extravagant investment in the early 1980s. He bought one of the very first IBM PCs. We became programming buddies. I was 11 years old and we'd spent countless hours learning programming together. I felt very early that being able to program was incredibly empowering. As a teenager, I wrote an essay in school about happiness. My essay started with the words, happiness is to write code that helps others. One of my first things I wanted to code was a system that could do anything. I called it the system. However, I never really figured out how to design a system that could do anything. But now I have. My father passed away just a few months ago. Completing the system has become my way of honoring his memory and the values he instilled in me. So let me show you the system in action. This is that same authentic IBM PC 5150 from 1981. And it's about to do something that seemed impossible back then. Written entirely in Turbo C201, the system connects this 1981 computer to modern AI systems, including OpenAI, Mistral, Llama, IBM Granite, and so on. The interface is purely authentic 1980s, green text on black background, 80 by 25 character display, but the intelligence behind it is cutting edge. First, let's take a look at what's behind about and credits. I built a few AI agents specializing in a few different things. But let's go chat with the all-knowing the system.
Watch this. I'm having a real conversation with an agent running on any of the popular large language models, but through this 44-year-old computer. The engineering challenge was fascinating. How do you connect the 1981 computer to 2025 AI systems? This vintage client writes commands to a text file, sends it over sockets using the open source library MTCP and a Python server responds through another text file. This keeps the 1980s code completely authentic while enabling modern AI integration. But this isn't just about technology. In one of my last conversations with my father, he shared wisdom about AI. He said, Andreas, humans need to stay in control. Use technology for humanity's good, but never let technology rule us. The system brings together my passion for vintage computing with the incredible possibilities of modern AI. It's about applying technology with purpose, bridging what was with what is, and showing that innovation doesn't always mean leaving the past behind. Some dreams transcend time itself. What seemed impossible to an 11-year-old in the 1980s is now reality, running on the original hardware where that dream began. The system is available at thesystem.ai. You can download the complete source code, read the full technical story, and see how a childhood dream became a tribute to the values that guide us in an AI-driven world. The system was always meant to be. I miss you, Dad.